Welcome. The creative revolution starts now. Greetings, my friends. In the first episode of this series, I said to you, our greatest creative power as human beings is hiding in plain sight. Today, we're going to explore the nature and extent of that power. What I'm about to say may seem obvious at first, but I can tell you that there are many layers to it and that the power to which I'm referring is underutilized and misunderstood by most people. To grasp this power, we need to explore two important ideas. The first idea is that all creating is now. Let me repeat that. All creating is now. What do I mean by that? Every creative act happens in the present moment. Think back to some great masterpiece that was created in the past. When the artist created it, that was an experience of the present moment for that artist. The same is true for anything you're going to create in your future. At the time you create it, you will be experiencing the present moment fully. There's also an element to this statement that all creating is now that implies that creativity may not always be a reality. What do I mean by that? Well, you've heard the expression, there's nothing new under the sun. What we create tends to be a rearrangement of parts, words, ideas, images, sounds, movements, etc. As someone who has composed music and written several books, I can tell you that there are elements of what I create that are derived from things I created in the past, or certainly the people whose work I've admired, my influences, my sources of inspiration have created. We know that the Beatles, who generated so much wonderful music, often derived their inspiration from other artists. George Harrison was sued by the creators of He's So Fine when he wrote a very similar sounding song in My Sweet Lord. Given that there may not be anything new under the sun, the one thing that is always new and fresh is the experience of the present moment. So all creating is now, what we create is an experience of the present moment. That's what we're always creating. A third and very important way of interpreting this statement that all creating is now is that there is nothing but now. We know that the past is a memory and the future is a dream or perhaps even a nightmare. But what we definitely know exists is the present moment, here and now. The second key idea is that your greatest creative power is the power to create your greatest now. Every moment that we're alive is a moment that to some degree we're creating. The constructivists and psychologists have known that. They know that what we're experiencing right now is to a certain degree our creation based on what we sense and perceive and interpret. But the other way in which we're creating our present moment is by making certain choices. For example, you've chosen to watch this particular video in hopes that it's going to entertain you, inspire you, uplift you, give you fresh ideas. And so we're always making choices about how we spend the present moment. You may say to yourself, you know what would be really good right now? Boy, I could sure use an ice cream cone, or it might be nice to take a walk or a nap or whatever. So we know that we're always creating through our choices, the present moment. And the question is, how expansive, how great 
can we make this experience of here and now? And so my personal mantra these days is very simple. And if you understand it, I think it unlocks the possibilities for creative inspiration. And that mantra is make now great. Make now great. How do you do that? That is something we're going to explore over the next several episodes. And I can tell you, if you're an artist, you want to tune into this because ultimately all great art emerges from great experiences of the present moment. Creative experiences that are inspiring generate inspiring art. Of course they do. So we could ask two questions related to this mantra, make now great. First of all, how great can now be? This is really an intriguing question and one that has always excited me. I can tell you this, that the possibilities are limitless. What if it turns out that our greatest now could be infinite and eternal? I can show you how that's true. If you understand fully the nature of the present moment, you will see that it already is infinite and eternal. It's simply a matter of stepping into that greatness and recognizing it. The second question is how do we make now great? The next episode of this series is going to explore that question in great detail. If you're an artist, you're going to see how the answer to this particular question can unlock your creative inspiration and launch you on your personal creative revolution. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for your time.